Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Seema Yasmin. I'm a public health doctor and a medical journalist with Digital Medic and welcome to Viral Facts. So there's been a lot of confusion about the Delta variant of the virus that causes COVID-19. So I wanna go over what exactly is it and what you should know. For the basics, every time the virus makes new copies of itself, it can develop slight changes in its genetic code. These changes are known as mutations. The Delta variant of the virus that causes COVID-19 is one of these genetic variants. And it is a worrying newer version of the virus because it looks like it spreads more easily between people. In fact, the CDC classifies the Delta variant as a variant of concern for this exact reason. The Delta variant also has the potential to outwit sometimes the antibodies we make after we're vaccinated, and it does have the potential to outsmart some monoclonal antibody treatments. So what else is it that we need to know about this newer Delta variant? Well, the first case of the Delta variant was spotted in December 2020 in India. And because it can spread more easily, it soon became the most dominant strain of the virus, not only in India, but also in Great Britain. And towards the end of June 2021, the Delta variant accounted for more than 20% of cases in the US, and then by July 7th, the CDC estimated that the Delta variant accounted for more than half of cases in the US. So what exactly do you need to know and what should you be concerned about when it comes to this virus? People who've not been vaccinated against COVID-19, they are the ones who are most at risk of getting infected with this Delta variant and becoming sick. Of course, that includes kids and many young people since no vaccine has so far been approved for kids ages 5 to 12 in the US. And of course, communities with low overall COVID vaccination rates are also likely to be most vulnerable to local outbreaks. But if these communities are surrounded by other communities that have higher vaccination rates, then we think the outbreak might be contained. Otherwise, there is the possibility of this newer Delta variant jumping from one poorly vaccinated area to another poorly vaccinated area. So what about illness? Can the Delta variant make you more sick? What we're learning so far is that coughing and loss of smell are less common with the Delta variant, and the most common symptoms are headache, sore throat, runny nose, and fever. There is evidence that the Delta variant results in more severe disease in unvaccinated people, and more research is currently being done to look into this. So what about the vaccines? Do they protect you from this variant? And here's some of the good news. The good news is that fully vaccinated people seem safe from the variants currently circulating in the United States and likely don't need to wear a mask. That's according to the CDC. In fact, a British study in June 2021 found that after two doses of the Pfizer vaccine, the vaccines were found to be 88% effective. However, in countries with a lower vaccination rate, the World Health Organization advises even fully vaccinated people to wear masks in public while in indoor settings. Right now, it's too soon to know whether a booster shot is needed to target the Delta variant specifically, but the most effective way to protect yourself against new variants of COVID-19, including the Delta one, is to get whichever vaccine is available to you right now. We've linked to some more resources below so you can get more information, but that's it for today. Check out our Viral Facts playlist for more evidence-based COVID-19 information and stay safe.